Disney's Frozen 2 is just on the horizon. It's so close we can almost taste the Arendelle snowflakes on the tips of our tongues. The excitement has been palpable ever since the movie was announced, with fans racking their brains to figure out what the story might be. Although Disney is remaining tight-lipped, that doesn't stop us from coming up with our own ideas. Some of them might be right on the money. Let's take a look at Disney's Frozen 2 theories that just make so much sense. One of the biggest things left unresolved in the first movie is what exactly happened to Anna and Elsa's parents. Although we're shown that they perished in a shipwreck, we know very little else about the circumstances surrounding the accident. We know from the very start of the movie that Anna and Elsa only have each other, which is what makes the whole plot so poignant. But what if their parents are really alive? Some fans theorize that the trailer is dropping serious hints about Elsa and Anna's parents. It may be that they are out to find their parents who may not have died at all. Why? Largely because Elsa is shown fighting against some waves, and as we know, mom and dad supposedly lost their lives at sea. Could she be battling to save her parents who are trapped in some sort of sea world? Secondly, there are two random adventurers who make a brief appearance in the trailer. One woman with curly hair and a man wearing a black coat. Could it be that Anna and Elsa have gone in search of their lost family? It certainly seems very possible. This theory has been kicking around since before Frozen 2 was even announced, so it's not surprising that it's worth listening to. As we know, Elsa has powers that can turn anything into ice. But what about Anna? Why didn't she get any magic mojo when she was born but Elsa did? Some outlets have speculated that Anna will discover powers of her own that relate to fire, the very opposite of her sister's charms. When you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Anna is red-headed, while Elsa has white blonde hair. They literally look like fire and ice. Plus, personality-wise, Anna has more of a temper and is generally warmer to be around. After all, it was she who went to go get her sister back and turn her away from the cold and evil path that she was on. It's not the craziest theory out there, and could potentially make for some interesting battles between the two sisters should they have a falling out. There's gotta be some drama somewhere. It's 2019 and Disney is finally getting up to speed with the rest of the world. Jack Whitehall is supposedly set to play Disney's first openly gay character in the upcoming action movie, The Jungle Cruise. But could that announcement be to throw us off the scent? Rumors have abounded for quite some time that Disney may give Elsa a female love interest. But Disney hasn't yet confirmed if that's true or not. It's all thanks to the hashtag Give Elsa a Girlfriend online campaign that sought to make the movie more inclusive. Even Adina Menzel, the voice behind Elsa, liked the sound of it. There's been a focus on giving the LGBTQ community more recognition in Hollywood recently, so it would be awesome if this theory could become a reality. We know that Evan Rachel Wood is on board to play a character too. Could she be voicing Elsa's bow? Guess we'll have to wait to find out. This one is so exciting that we're praying it's put into the second movie. Disney would certainly be missing a trick if they didn't. Shortly after the first movie, fans began to speculate that Anna and Elsa's parents were actually the same parents of everyone's favorite jungle boy, Tarzan. Think about it. We know Anna and Elsa's parents were lost in the shipwreck, but we never actually saw them die. And Tarzan, a lovely couple, wash up on the shores of a deserted island where they give birth to their son, the king of the jungle. And it would have remained a theory if Frozen's director Chris Buck hadn't confirmed that that's exactly how he envisioned the story in his mind. He did go on to say that he believes everything in Disney is linked in one way or another and that's the magic, but we're focusing on this connection in particular. Especially as Anna and Elsa seem to be exploring far off lands, it wouldn't exactly be unusual for them to meet Tarzan, would it? Back in 2015, one major fan theory blew our minds more than any other. Sharp eyes could see that in the first movie, Rapunzel and Eugene from Tangled were in the crowd attending Elsa's coronation ceremony. As their royalty themselves, viewers soon started to surmise that they may be related to our two favorite sisters. What's more, some people believe that the king and queen could have been on their way to the wedding of Rapunzel and Eugene when their ship sank. Crazy, but also plausible, isn't it? Because Rapunzel popped up in the first movie, then she could also very well pop up in the second one, and it would work. 
especially if it focuses on the sisters trying to figure out what happened to their mom and dad. As a side note, Disney fans have also drawn links between the King and Queen of Arendelle's sunken shipwreck and the one in The Little Mermaid, but that's a story for another time. We don't want to get too carried away, or all the princesses might end up being related to each other. <laughs> Before you start screaming at your screens, hear us out on this one. It's not uncommon for Disney to turn a good character bad. In the first movie, we all thought Prince Hans was great until he wasn't, right? So what if the real villains are actually the trolls? Sure, they look friendly and are practically on his in-laws as they raise Kristoff, but we all know how tricky Disney families can be. Just look at Snow White's stepmom. Some fans have made assumptions since the first movie came out that Hans wasn't really evil, but was brainwashed at some point by the trolls. Why? Because they wanted Kristoff to end up with Anna. Think about their musical number, in which they sing, Get the fiancé out of the way and the whole thing will be fixed. Suddenly seems suspicious, right? This is some sinister matchmaking. With that being said, what if the trolls did a complete 180 and went full-scale evil in Frozen 2? Fans wouldn't see it coming, and it would be a huge plot twist. Kristoff would be torn not knowing what side to be on, and Anna's whole world would be thrown into disarray. Arguably one of the best things to come out of Frozen was Olaf. He's hilarious, goofy, and the most adorable little snowman we've ever seen. Judging by the teaser, it looks like he's managed to lose his snow cloud since we last saw him. But what does that mean? If he's able to go into warmer climates without melting, could we expect bigger and better things from the happy little guy? Sure, he seems quite content doing his thing, but what if he's able to find love or even become human? Fans would love to see his story explored further. After all, even snowmen deserve true happiness. Judging by the amount of merchandise Disney was able to sell featuring Olaf alone, it's not outlandish to think that they may give the little dude a plotline of his very own this time around. We certainly wouldn't mind, and just think of the money they could make. Poor Anna jumped into her engagement with Prince Hans so quickly that it sent Elsa off the deep end. So it's no wonder that she spent a few years collecting herself after finding love with Kristoff. But Disney fans love a big wedding, so could the new movie deliver the goods? It's only a matter of time before they tie the knot, right? It's not like they're going to realize they both want different things after five years and break up. That would be far too realistic, and it wouldn't fit into the old happily ever after narrative we all know and love. We might not have had any hard clues that this is going to happen, but frankly, it should. If it doesn't, expect to see it in Frozen 3. When the people want a wedding, you give them a wedding. Just ask Harry and Meghan. This is an overall theory, but one hinted at by the voice of Olaf, Josh Gad. Earlier this year, Gad tweeted out a picture of a snowflake, telling followers, If you look hard enough, this teaser poster will reveal quite a few surprises. So, of course, we all looked so hard that our eyes nearly popped out. Gad's hints led fans to believe that the four different symbols on the snowflake actually stand for the four different seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Could the movie have a larger focus than we previously thought? Could Anna and Elsa be dealing with powers even greater than Elsa's icy blasts? It would make for interesting viewing, that's for sure. It seems a little silly to assume that Elsa was the only one blessed with seasonal nature powers, and it might also explain why the teaser trailer shows a new character playing with leaves. There's a lot they could do with the movie if this is the case, so let's not rule it out just yet. Yes, he was despicable and all that, but so was Eugene entangled until he met the right gal. It's not unheard of for Disney to do a switcheroo on us and make a good character bad and vice versa. While some fans think having Hans return would be too boring for such a highly anticipated sequel, it could totally happen. The biggest theory out there is that Hans will come back a changed man and actually win the heart of Elsa as he helps the sisters battle whatever big bad comes around. Some speculate that he's going to come back more evil than ever, wanting revenge for being banished. Stranger things have happened. Plus, Hans was a good character in that love-to-hate kind of way. We wouldn't mind if he made a comeback as long as it was done in the right way. And there you have it. What do you think? Which storyline do you think we're most likely to see when the movie is released? Do you have any theories that we didn't mention? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We love to hear from you. Until next time, thank you for watching.
Subscribe to The Binger for more videos, and we hope to see you soon.